Hello traders, welcome to a new trading day. My name is Somia Abdeagbo, market analyst at Greenwave Exchange. So today is um, 31st of May 2022 and it's a Tuesday. And um, uh, we can actually say that yes, since last week, the market has been making some kind of uh, reversals in terms of uh, risk sentiment. So we've been having some um, risk on um, sentiment in the market and it's really very clear it looks like the market is moving ahead of uh, the central banks especially the federal reserve so um, in the last um, FOMC minutes policy uh, minutes um, it was discussed that there will be another like 50 basis point rate hike in the next two in the next two meeting which uh, was what the market expected so there was nothing really dramatic or nothing new about that so the effect was not really that much and so that means that by the time we get to july the u.s interest rate federal fund will be around 1.7 to 2 percent and meanwhile the gdp is still slumping all right and though we are still expecting the um the second quarter gdp for the u.s and so the market is now uh um, you know going ahead of the fed that the fed might start you know drawing down a bit maybe they've really got into that peak of hawkishness uh in their general uh mood of tightening the, the their policies okay uh so because if the fed continues in this manner and with the gdp not really improving it might really lead to a recession or even stagflation okay which is going to be very very drastic on um on on the economy as a whole so they will start um you know maybe stay aside before making the next uh i mean before knowing what next to do so the market is reading into, into that and now we can see the stock market the stock prices started uh moving back up uh since last week so we saw the s p 500 starting to push upwards and so from the technical aspect uh point of view we actually in the video i released um last week i talked about the fact that the s p 500 is looking so much oversold and anytime we're going to see a, a really really sharp rebound all right and that was what we saw in the second half of last week after price bottomed around that 38 10 and then the s p 500 just pushed upwards and now seems as if we're having an impulsive drive to the upside so with this impulsive drive it looks very much likely that we're going to see higher s p prices this week okay so from the earlier to perspective we seems to be having one two three impulsive move and we might just see a minor correction all right which might actually be up to like 4 100 before price pushes up to um, maybe 4 300 or 4 350 okay before we now have a larger um a larger correction so i'm talking of something like this price makes this fourth and then fifth before we now have a larger correction so it now depends on what we get here okay after price complete these impulse waves we get a correction now depends if we are able to see a corrective run which doesn't really go that doesn't really go below four thousand and quickly pushes up i think we're going to see a major 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 recovery in the s p prices but if price makes a v-shape reversal like it gets here and then just shoot downward below four thousand in an impulsive manner then i think uh, this is going to be another corrective move and maybe something will have happened to trigger that okay but generally um i think this is what price is most likely going to do okay s and buffer and expect to go uh for the upside and so from the VIX, from the VIX angle, it seems like we're getting another base here. Okay, so price is tightening up. The index is tightening up between this upper range and this newly formed lower range. And so the bulls are going to, um, um, they are going to run more. I mean, take the price further higher. If we're able to see a break below here, so price violate this new uh, bottom. Uh, that means we're going to see it go down to this lower boundary and then the SP fiber is going to shoot up and then we can then maybe anticipate um once price once the index gets here maybe it's going to get another top being formed around there uh or maybe even here and then it's just going to be moving within the range okay to so just further um shows that the SP fiber uh will most likely continue to go upwards and so looking at the dollar uh so the dollar is being very much bearish that's like uh, the biggest bearish move we've seen this year so far on the dollar 
and so it looks like it's going to continue down to 100 it's we're having an impulsive drive from just uh from around 105 which was formed on the 13th may and so that's most likely going to continue okay uh but just like we are expecting um a minor correction on this before before it push up okay in a similar manner we're also expecting um a three wave um bullish correction before further decline so i'm looking at this this um zone here or here this um this supply zone here i don't think price is going to get that high um around that 103 i don't think it's going to get that high probably it's going to get as as much as maybe 102.25 or at most 102.5 okay so maybe correction right here above 102 and then price dumps for that to 100.5 to 100 okay so that's what i think the um the dollar is going to do and then the real dollar is going to just be like the reverse of that so i think uh we're going to see price make some move here before we see uh, a corrective move downward before price pushes up that's what i think is going to happen to the euro us dollar it seems to be getting an impulsive wave drive from here all right from here and then we got getting at this ending diagonal structure for the fifth wave i like seeing ending diagonals ending impulse waves very powerful especially when it's happening around a supply demand so, so this is a very nice supply zone and so uh, maybe we're going to see a touch of it we also have this uh, uh this uh, resist diagonal resistance here so this is a really strong confluence level which is also a place for 1.08 psychological level so it's a very very strong level to watch out for price might get here and then make a three wave correction to 1.06 1.055 uh, before the price uh, then continue to shoot up again so that's what i think for euro us dollar and for the dollar yen dollar yen seems to be having a nice correction of this uh demand zone so but, but what we're having is still very much corrective uh what we're having from here is very much corrective just as we expect we're looking at this fourth wave correction and um it looks like maybe we're going to get a deeper correction because the response after this corrective run from just around uh, a bit above 131 uh, because it looks corrective it actually means that we might actually we might get a deeper fourth wave which now means that this is going to be maybe one leg of the correction uh, maybe this is going to be one leg of the correction here and this one is just uh, like the second leg and might um go as i at 129 okay so i'm going to wait for reaction around 120 i think price can go as high as 129 in this uh bullish corrective manner as when it gets there the reaction there if it breaches above it so that means the end of the fourth wave has come and then we can start counting an impulse wave right correction impulse but if price gets here i will get um a sharp reversal around there so that means we might of course see a breach of this um support um demand zone which is around there 126.5 or below it down to 124.5 125 uh, key areas okay so that's my expectation for the uh dollar japanese so let's see what happened here right and the us dollar chf uh for the us dollar chf it also looks um very similar to the other ones okay well not really that too similar like that because it has uh, uh, it has actually been one of the most volatile uh, major effects that we've seen since last week so price breached down here we talked about this uh in the video last week that we're most likely going to see at least this currency pay get to this fourth wave here at least which is around 0 0.9750 a price got there breached it so it was really very clear the way the price fell that we we're getting an impulse and it seems the impulse has ended so i'm expecting a bullish correction to as high as 97.50 or 98.50 all right that's my expectation for uh the dollar chf and then the pound dollar the pound dollar is also just like the euro us dollar now we're getting the price drop in a very large um i mean long-term corrective move bearish corrective move down here we seems to be having another corrective move upwards and we have this demand zone sorry supply zone at 1.2750 around there where we also have this um psychological level 1.2750 so i'm anticipating this wedge pattern ending here 
we're able to see that that's really a very powerful signal if we get a bearish response from there that could trigger uh, some sell-off to 1.240 or 1.2350 uh, for the pound uh, dollar but if we see a breach of it so that means price is going to rise as high as uh, 1.30 1.305 jump even 1.31 for you can find the next uh, demand uh, the next supply zone to react to okay but i think this level will most likely hold because of this uh, reversal pattern that we're getting here and this corrective wave that uh, made a bigger corrective wave from here and then the new zealand us dollar is also giving us some wedge formation there and it's reacting around this um supply zone here and it's really a very big indication we can see price making a sharp move and if we're able to see a break below this wedge here i think we're going to see further decline on the new zealand dollar to at least this um this demand zone here which is just above 0 0.6350 psychological level or maybe even down to 63 psychological level before price then pushes up i think that we're going to see higher prices in new zealand us dollar new zealand us and aussie they respond more to the s p 500 and the market's general risk saying so if you're able to see uh, there's some for a drop more then I think New Zealand is going to drop more as well uh, and I think in this case we might see it down to 6350 otherwise we should watch for if price doesn't go sharply and is going sideways we should watch for a, a triangle pattern all right uh, it, this is going to be maybe some first leg of the correction then correct uh, the second leg with a triangle pattern and price shoots up okay that is if the move doesn't really go sharply down to this but if it does i think we're going to see a price drop to this zone 6350 a little bit above 6350 maybe even here okay before we can anticipate uh for the rallies uh on the uh new zealand us dollar and then for the aussie dollar similar case but seems this one has not really got into the uh supply zone yet so maybe it's going to get there we we'll have to see that you can see it's not really moving um uh, the news and is moving down now gradually but we can see that also is not really doing that okay maybe it's going to have a touch of ear before it start pushing downwards okay but we're also having a larger wedge pattern here all right uh which is also around this uh, 7250 psychological level uh, of this um supply zone as well so a touch of that and a bearish reaction then i'm going to anticipate for that decline to i mean some decline to 7250 or even 70 0 0.70 before price will have another chance of um, making a move upside and the dollar card is really really very interesting so we have this five wave move up to this place and then three wave correction is happening and the next uh, demand zone is going to be around here yeah, around 1.26 very massive psychological level here so price might actually get here yeah, and we might say sharp bullish reversal here okay in this case uh kind of anticipating a very big um usd card move to the upside that is if the price doesn't i mean break below here and drop below this uh 24 uh, 2460 if we see a reaction here yeah, even if the price doesn't really go that strongly up this way i think we're going to see a move to 1.2850 even 1.290 okay in the minimum and then for gold gold is reacting um but it's looking like sideways after we saw this abc correction with an ending diagonal uh, a, a wedge pattern here uh which is just uh, above uh 18 just around 1870 okay so so far price is making a minor correction initially i was thinking we're going to see a sharp dip to this place which is the next um, um key um support okay key uh, demand zone which is around 1810 and then before we see price shoot up further because i still really think we're going to see further rallies or if the price breaks below here yeah, then further decline to the next um level around that 1760 or thereabouts okay uh, but with the way the price is moving there are two things we could get here most uh, most probably we could actually get an abc move that is not really that sharp okay might actually evade this uh level before price shoots up uh up to this uh 1900 which is the next key area and psychological level okay otherwise price might also um okay and another way we can look at this is if price goes sideways if it continues to just go sideways we might actually get a triangle pattern so with a triangle pattern that will be another opportunity to buy up to 1900 
so anyway you look at it whether it's a zigzag all right or a triangle it just uh, just really shows that um, um, the bearish response to the end of this corrective and ending diagonal is not really sharp enough for us to consider um, I mean some impulsive drive to the downside to continue this uh, bearish trend but price can still prove that wrong we just see uh, we just need to really really focus on what the price is doing all right and then we can always adjust our expectation and then for Bitcoin Bitcoin shoot very very much upside just like we expected um, in the videos um, in, the, in the last week video so we're looking at because price completed this move and we're initially looking at this triangle but with the bridge of this triangle and then so we can now we now we now looked at this zigzag uh, double zigzag pattern which ended here and looks like there's gonna be a double zigzag structure WX and price is responding quite well and so I expect for the rallies to at least 100% um, extension of W from X, which is around 34,000. Our target was uh, last week was between 32 to 34,000. So it seems we're going to get really, really deep into that target level around 34,000. Okay, so we we'll see how, uh, I mean, what happens when price gets there, whether we're going to see a sharp reversal from there. So we'll have to see what the price is going to do from there. Okay. And then for US oil, that didn't really go as we expected. We're looking at this um, this corrective pattern W X um, X and then Y. All right. So let me do this uh, very well. So you have um, the first leg ended here, and then the second leg ended here around this um, sub, I mean resistance zone, and we're actually anticipating a decline. So price responded with a fast decline this way but you couldn't really sustain it as it gave a triangle shoot up broke above 115 and then continue to go higher to 120 so the question is does it mean uh this corrective pattern that we're looking at does it mean uh price has violated i don't think it has okay although it's looking shaky as price could actually break above here so if we're able to see a break above this support i mean this resistance uh supply level supply zone then i can say that well, this correction has ended uh it now now remains uh, what, what kind of pattern we want to call this okay but um on the other hand um we still like getting a wedge pattern here all right so and it still looks like the corrective pattern is still very much intact so you have w here with this abc corrective pattern and then you have another a b and then you have a diagonal forming here to complete this x pattern it still looks like um the oil price i mean it still looks vulnerable from a um technical perspective okay although that's really very difficult to admit when you also consider the fact that we're looking at a further uh, risk on scenario okay but there are some times that price can deviate from uh i mean the oil price can deviate from what is happening around the risk uh risk environment okay and also we're expecting the opec OPEC meeting later this week. So we're going to see what is going to happen there um, in terms of um, OPEC policies. Okay, whether they are going to add to more sub, or whether we're going to they're going to talk about adding to supplies or not. Okay, so it's just very important that we look at what happened around this 119, 120 zone. So if we're able to see a sharp turn around there, so I think it's really very possible that we might see further decline. Okay, I'm still looking at eighty dollars for the oil price until price is able to um, finally say that okay i'm done with this correct corrective move and then we can start looking at uh buying the the the, the, the next dips okay and so that's going to be it for, uh there today that's going to be um i mean all i'm looking at as, uh, as far as the major instruments are concerned for today thank you very much for watching i'm going to see you in the next one have a very wonderful trading day bye